Thank you for your interest in learning more about Leo Limon's ideas behind his artwork. The following audio tour consists of 13 spots in the current exhibit in which Michelle Lopez interviewed Leo Limon on some of the work currently featured in the Studio for Southern California History's exhibit, Los Angeles Loves Leo Limon. My name is Mike Matice, and I will narrate the tour. The Studio for Southern California History wishes to thank many people for their assistance in creating this exhibit, including Tomas Benitez, Lauren Bond in the Metabolic Studio, Ernesto de la Rosa, Bob Derilla, Donna Lori, Melissa Richardson Banks and Cause Connect, Isabel Rojas Williams, Denise Lugo, and Leo Limon. Please pause and locate the first item on the tour. When you have found it, please push play. Gatitas ride the Los Angeles River. Yes? Uh, it's um, a project I did uh, with uh, Cause Connect. Uh, a group that I'm working with, with the Toyota uh, car company, and we gave a workshop at the East LA Boys and Girls Club, and uh, we decided that I would uh, make a banner and just simply do a drawing, and the drawing was uh, based upon cleaning up the river, and so across the sky you see Los Angeles River, and then on the utility road, you have families, young people, older people, Cleaning trash clan, trash cans, orange cans, and people flying around and stuff like that. Skateboarders, and uh, generally, you know, you see people, all kinds of people, and a lot of people in shorts and you know, and trash being swept. And then uh, below that is, um, and all of this was painted in, uh, basically uh, over fifty percent by. Uh, young uh, students from the Boys, Bro and Boys and Girls Club. Club of East LA who go to the local schools there, uh, Brooklyn Avenue School. And uh, that was one of the schools I do remember, but there were other kids from other schools. And uh, you could see that the kids uh, painted in the cat faces that, that I left blank and then they came in and then de depicted their own cats, their own kitties. And then um, it was, uh, Two hours of real crazy locura because some of the kids were just grabbing markers and painting anything they wanted and <laughs> there was no control and then I did get it under control and um, I worked on it and it uh, came out as you see here and where there's fish there's dirty and clean water and there's bugs and lizards and snakes and snails and growth and growth. Please pause and locate the next piece. They are ordered numerically. Bailandole down Olvera Street, 2001, an acrylic on canvas uh, painting. Uh, here again you have uh, green curtains, you have an uh, audience looking into the play at hand, or the curtain. And here you have a depiction uh, of these black angels mm -hmm. that were part of the Pobladeros that came to Los Angeles along with the Spanish contingency and um, they were black, black angels. And here's uh, the guitarra and the, the cross. And across, across the cross, it says the 1781 Los Angeles. for the founding of Los Angeles. And then you have the Virgen de Guadalupe, the guitars pointing toward her. And then she is looking down toward this um, Wewe, or drum player, an ancient ball player, mm -hmm. indigenous type. And then you have all this locura happening around it, such as the city of LA here. Uh, it's the C Cesar Chavez eagle from the farm workers. It should be like that little angel holding up the, that um, moon shape. Is it, it holding up a scale? It's holding up scales this time, and here's the Olin symbol. And then I don't know what's on that other side, but that's okay, that's cool. And then over here you have the library towers, Maubel, Mocha, then you have Cocopelli, and then a palm tree. And then actually here you have uh, a cattle, then you have Tecpatl, and you have Cali, and you have Tochli, which are the four year symbols of the Aztec calendar. Mm -hmm. Then you have uh, uh, on the east side, people coming toward the city, uh, over the 
uh, Macy Street Bridge, which is the Cesar Chavez Bridge, which used to be the Brooklyn Avenue Bridge. And then here you have the Greenhouse Syndrome coming across. And then we have your gatitas. And then one of my gatitas in the river, and some fish, and corn, and a heron, and then um, a woman, a cup of coffee, and a red winged blackbird, and I believe. Oh, and we have Witzeli Pochli and uh, some um, butterflies flying around and the Olin symbol and um, the stories based upon the arrival and the growth and the idea of the river all being part as one whole composition in, here in Los Angeles. Please pause and locate the next piece. They are ordered numerically. Art Peace Park. This piece is titled Art Peace Park. It's uh, painted in 2007 as acrylic on canvas. It's a smaller piece. This is another cityscape, once again. And here in this cityscape, you see uh, City Hall, uh, the pillars, the bell, and the sombrero. And the sombrero is Antonio Viragosa. And the pillars are the building itself and there is a bell if you look way on top of City Hall you will see a bell on the east side and the west side and the arrows are to remind the mayor that there are still natives amongst the crowds and that he himself is also native and then uh, coming down the landscape uh, Olvera Street uh, the Virencita the little uh, the little burro with uh, the, the camera and uh, he is no burro, he is a uh, bilingual uh, <laughs> oxymoron, he's a smart burro. With this video camera. He's making money. Head over, uh, haven't you ever sat on the burro? <laughs> oh, excuse me? And uh, made some money <laughs> with your camera? Hey, and he's digitalized now and he, he just like sit, smile, kink, swipe, thank you, here you go. And then he leaves. <laughs> yeah, and he just see, hey, he just doesn't eat beans, hey. And then right there next to the burro is uh, the candle shop, mm -hmm. of which uh, my uh, good friends are owners and uh, you know proprietors of. And then um, then there's uh, this these what is this? Oh, let's go back to uh, um, right here. There's a little bird flying here. Is the golondrina? It's actually a restaurant between the two palm trees that are in the middle of Olvera Street. Oh, okay. Yes, and it's uh, Vivian Bonzo and her lovely family that have been there for a long time and they have this place called La Golondrina, that's why I put a Golondrina there. And then uh, we come back to uh, the Woodrow and then the um, candle shop and then these Bird of Paradises are across the street from Olvera Street at the train station. This is the train station and then there's the Metro um, Metropolitan building, it's the MTA building, and they have this uh, globe with this sphere or this uh, thing going around it. And then, uh, and then we light, uh, go across the street from there, and we find ourselves again in the prison system, the Twin Towers. And you have, I'm trying to indicate here by everything being upside down, the alphabet yeah, that's and the numbers, uh, justice is upside down. Gosh. Because if if you really think about it, hey, why is there crime? Oh, because there's unemployment, Un uneducated people. Why is there crime? Why, why, why? And you're arresting a lot of people for possession of marijuana, a plant that grows that's medicinal. Oh, well, anyway, we can get into that. But still, again, a lot of people, there's very few people that are in there for very hard crimes. Yeah, but that are taking of, up the spaces. Where and there's a lot of young people in there now that are being arrested for s trying to have creative expression with spray cans. That again is a problem or it's just, you know, the quota has been met by the, the court system so many times, is it, is it relevant? Uh, can we change it? Yes, we can. But nonetheless, we continue on. Uh, this black dog or this pink building on here, uh, or reddish pink kind of, uh, this is an indication of mine of uh, the William Mead housing area in which in that area down there, there was a, a street called, and it's still there, Ann Street. And there was a dog pound. And they oh. called this area Dog Town. 
because of the fact that, and that was back in the 40s or 50s that they called it Dogtown. And then uh, we switched from Main Street to Spring Street, and down the street there is this uh, awkward looking building that has like a triangular shape. And then there's the cornfields, and this is a uh, redesigned a Mayan glyph of corn that I redesigned. And then this area here is this very large new park known as uh, the Los Angeles Historical, Hysterical uh, State, Park. State Park. Too much title. They should have just said Spring Street Park. It's on Spring Street. And it's because of the spring or the water that they go down here. And then here's a biker on the utility path, right, for the Alley River. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the Alley River, this is the Alley River. Again, I'm taking an artistic license here and I'm putting all these spray cans. Where all the graffiti is. Or where there was graffiti. Yeah, there really was graffiti. But now I can actually paint all this out neutral gray and there wouldn't be any of this. Because we're spending over $10 million every year. To uh, what? To whitewash. To whitewash or buff out, you know, expression by young people. And wouldn't this be nice for you where the community can come? You can come and you can spray something on there, but the city wouldn't be uh, liable for your, you know, being hurt down there because, you know, it is dangerous to be down there, but it's yeah. your river. And hey, people long ago before they cemented it, before 1937, I think it was, uh, would fall in and die because, hey, there was no barriers to block people from going to fishing, swimming, cleaning, drinking, hey, whatever they want to do. But uh, this is uh, Art Peace Park. Why not turn, you know, 51 miles of cemented river into Art Piece Park? Please pause and locate the next piece. Uh, this piece here is a uh, mixed pencil and pastel drawing. It's titled In La Quetch. It's a general title. I did a few of these. I did them in 2008, and this one's titled The Great Bailout. 2008, uh, the economic woes were hitting the country and I decided that I would uh, just continue to draw and use the titles of these woes that are going on in our country but what I did is in La Quetch which means you are the other me I have henceforth decided to uh, paint the colors in of who we are as Mexican and Mexican Americans and so what we have here is well, this is very a very rosy chalk color, which would be red, white, and green. You get that color scheme? Mm -hmm. Or it would be green, white, and red, which would be Mexicano or Mexica. And then this other side would be blue, white, and red, or red, white, white and, and blue. blue. For Americans. For Americans. Yes. Or it's the idea of Mexican-Americans. You see, uh, we are as one. Mixed together. Yes, and on the inside you've got this great, fantastic story of a wind god, a hecatl, a giant woman image in the back looking in, spirals, someone's kissing her shoulder. Here's Sitla Linique, she whose skirt covers the entire night sky. Please pause and locate the next piece. They are ordered numerically. And now we go to uh, my uh, depiction of... Uh, Graph Hearts on Bikes. Graph Hearts on Bikes. Uh, this one was uh, 2011. I just painted it recently. Uh, this one's titled Yellow. Just because I'm not really going to give them titles other than talk to people about uh, bicycles, uh, graffiti artists out in the streets, riding their bikes, crashing on their bikes, doing different things on their bikes. But again, uh, this actual heart images is actually a piece of graffiti skin, I call it, that I peeled off a wall and I uh, cut it into this heart shape and glued it onto the canvas. And it's actually uh, a historic piece, actually, uh, the heart, because it's actually layers of uh, graffiti and then the abatement program that began, oh, good, I don't know, 20 years ago, where the, you know, society, City Hall has decided to cover over graffiti. Um, henceforth, they haven't given us a place to go paint graffiti, per se. There's a arts district that uh, 
decides to hire an artist and then cover up his piece before they put this uh, art in the streets show. Mm -hmm. uh, what's with that?